Hello, I'm Matt Guff from house.com and this is a 2018 Rosino XV wide snowboard. A great big mountain deck for feet, people with size 11 feet and larger that are uh, highly advanced. This is a board that charges hard in crappy conditions, in great snow, and of course on hard pack. Uh, this is a Xavier De La Rue's uh, pro model board that he has built from the ground up. I love this board. I actually ride, I think, the 164 wide because I have a size 11 boot, um, and I love the waist width on this thing. Of course, it's going to be a directional style board. The stance is set back one inch and one quarter. The nose is uh, quite a bit larger than the tail, of course, and it features an Amptech Elite profile shape. Underneath and in between the feet, the board is going to have camber, which is great for stability at high speeds. It's perfect on an edge. Combine that with that M7 magnet traction, and this is a board that grips down on really hard snow. There's 20% rocker on the tail, 20% on the nose, even though the nose is just a little bit longer, um, which I like um, because it has a nice gradual kind of swoop to it, and the nose and the tail feature a roller technology, spoon style technology that keeps the nose afloat when you're riding really, really deep stuff. But you really don't have to worry about your, you know, your nose diving deep because that stance is set back so much. Um, it does feature a flex rating that's really high on the scale. On one, uh, on one to ten, ten being really stiff, I'd give this thing a, uh, a full ten. Um, and the nose is actually going to be quite a bit stiffer than the tail because of the poplar style wood cores super directional profiling, meaning that the flex of the board is actually going to be stiffer on the nose because the core is thicker underneath that front foot. It's really great because it allows you to plow through crappy chunder. Um, you're not always going to be riding, you know, like the softest of snow. Sometimes to get to that soft snow, you have to ride through some crap. And this board does a great job at charging through. On top of that wood core is going to be uh, basalt style strips. And you can see that through the, the top sheet of the board. On the bottom, there's going to be aramid, um, cindered style base, uh, Bionix fiberglass, and there's going to be a dual torsion boxes, basically running along the edges of the board to give it a torsional stiffness. This board, torsionally, is just like, it doesn't really move too much. And that's why it's important for riders to be of like high level um, to ride this thing, because if you get on it, it's going to steer you in these huge turns uh, all over the place. But if you know how to like harness the power by riding fast, because it's easier to ride when you ride it fast, you're really going to have a good time on them. Uh, there's a 360 wrap steel edge, and again, that mad attraction um, M7 style uh, technology that allows for the board to really grip on firm snow. You can ride this thing um, on hard pack, in crappy conditions, and floating powder. This is, again, Xavier De La Rue's Pro Model Board of Choice. This is the wide version. Um, a little bit wider than your average board for size 11 feet and larger. If you need a board that does a big mountain riding really well, the XV, it's a damn good board. Make sure to check it out at thehouse.com. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment or question below. If you've ridden this thing, yeah, let me know what you think. I know I love it. And uh, see you guys around.